Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States, Mrs. Laura Bush, and Administrator Stephen Johnson. Thanks for coming. Please be seated. And welcome to the Rose Garden. And thanks for bringing such good weather. <laughs> Laura and I are thrilled you're here. And we are thrilled to honor young Americans who are helping their communities by safeguarding the environment. I'm really pleased that Steve's with us, too. Thanks for coming to Debbie. Thanks for being here. I want to welcome your parents and your sponsors. And I know they're incredibly proud of you. I appreciate the dedication that you've shown to improve neighborhoods. I really thank the fact that you're a person who's willing to be a responsible citizen and take action. I'm uh, pleased to have all the regional administrators here. It's good to see friends from around the country. Thanks for coming. Thanks for serving the country. I appreciate the fact that you know that we live in a country of unbelievable splendor and beauty. And no matter which state we call home, the, we can always find the work of the Almighty in our state. And today we honor 36 young men and women who have devoted their time, energy, and creativity to being good stewards of that creation. And we appreciate the work you're doing to preserve our beauty for generations to come. Students here today come from all across the country and your accomplishments are as diverse as your home states. Steve will read out the accomplishments, but I'll just touch on a few. First, people from New York who collected used books that would have ended up in landfills and donated them to schools and nursing homes and homeless shelters. People here from Massachusetts who worked with local fishermen to switch from using lead waste to using substances that didn't have the potential to poison local birds. Virginia, good folks from Virginia used recycled electronic equipment so it wouldn't end up polluting the environment. It makes a lot of sense. It's a rational plan. Good people from Tennessee who led hundreds of members of the community to switch to more energy efficient light bulbs, just like Laura insisted we did here at the White House. How about the good folks from Washington State who worked with the school district and helped save more than a half a million dollars by encouraging teachers to reduce their energy use in the classroom? These are practical ways to help protect our environment. And one way to thank you is to, is to have the administrator present awards to you. You set a great example for people around the country and you set a great example for the government. We're focused on conserving and protecting our environment. I don't know if you know this or not, but in, we created the Northwestern Hawaii Island Marine National Monument, which is the largest single conservation area in our nation's history and the largest protected marine area in the world. And we did so because there are more than 7,000 species in the monument, and a quarter of them exist nowhere else on the earth. Good news is, Laura went over to dedicate the monument and did a fabulous job. We're working hard to protect our wildlife through the principle of cooperative conservation, which means we bring together different stakeholders, conservationists and sportsmen and local leaders and federal, state, and tribal authorities to protect species that are at risk. We're protecting our and strengthening our national park system one way to dedicate ourselves to conservation is to take that which is already in existence and make it better. And so last year I announced the National Park Centennial Initiative, which is a great plan to enhance our national parks during the decade leading up to the 100th anniversary in 2016. This is an initiative that's going to allow the park system to hire more park rangers and to increase the use of technology and upgrade its facilities and its historic buildings. I'm looking forward to working with Congress to make sure this effort is fully funded. And finally, we're working to ensure that America can develop alternative energy sources 
and develop new technologies so we can address global climate change without harming the economy. And I believe we can do both. I believe we can be good stewards of the environment. And I believe we can grow our economy, which we're going to have to do to be able to afford the technologies necessary to change. So yesterday I announced an important national goal, which is stopping the growth in U.S. greenhouse gases emissions by 2025. It's a goal we can achieve. It's important to set realistic goals and then work hard to achieve those goals. The key to keeping the, uh, to making this work is to, is to unleash the entrepreneurial spirit of the country to develop the new technologies that will allow us to utilize cleaner, more efficient energy sources, which, by the way, will have the beneficial effect of becoming, making us less dependent on oil, particularly oil that comes from parts of the world where the people may not exactly like us. So as we're working on our national security and our economic security, and at the same time having the beneficial effect of being wise stewards of the environment. But today, you're tired of hearing about an old guy speak. We want to hear the stories of young people, young people who will be the future leaders of the country, young people who have laid out a strategy as to how to protect their local communities and have done so. So I welcome you here. I ask Laura and Steve to join me here on the podium to present the awards. Congratulations. Welcome to the Rose Garden, and thanks for coming. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for your kind words, and I'd like to thank our President and First Lady for hosting this event. I like to say environmental responsibility is everyone's responsibility, and this year's Presidential Environmental Youth Award winners have made protecting our planet an everyday commitment and proven that together we can create a cleaner, healthier world. Well, for his Boy Scout Eagle Project, Michael Brown, come on up, of Massachusetts, educated fellow fishermen about the environmental impacts of lost lead weights in lakes and streams. And he inspired fishing derbies to part with 43 pounds of lead weights. Please join me in congratulating Michael Brown. Raphael Spiro of New York began collecting and donating used books and magazines to reduce bulk in the solid waste stream. Through his website, Bedside Books, he encourages students across the country to do the same. To date, more than 200 students have collected and distributed 44,000 books. Please join me in congratulating Raphael. Well, in a one-day recycling event, the sixth grade cl science class at H.B. Woodlawn provided curbside pickup <laughs> of over 450 pieces of electronic equipment. And as a direct result of their project, the County Board of Arlington, Virginia, approved a resolution to consider the feasibility of a curbside recycling program for electronics. Please join me in congratulating them. <laughs> the Wisers Misers Energy Team, a group of third graders from Tennessee, spread the word about the environment and in economic benefits of making smart energy choices through educational school assemblies and a walk to school day. Please join me in congratulating our Wiser Misers energy team. <laughs> Congratulations. Through a student fair which he organized and promoted, Kate Snyder of Illinois raised money by selling energy efficient light bulbs and raffle tickets to buy more recycling bins for her elementary school. Please join me in congratulating Kate. <laughs> Kate. 
Well, Bianca Locke of Texas, Mr. President, I think you know where that is, wrote two educational books and put on performances about stormwater and recycling at more than 30 schools, daycare centers, summer camps, youth organizations, and her community. Each time between five and 150 people would attend her events. Please join me in congratulating Bianca. <laughs> the Reeds Spring High School stream team monitored water quality in their local streams. They picked up debris and inspired community members to become involved in improving the quality of Missouri's water. Please join me in congratulating the Reed Spring High School stream team. <laughs> Middle school students in Helena, Montana, organized Earth Action a fair for students to share their knowledge on environmental topics with others. Through interactive booths, videos, and presentations, the students demonstrated how recycling and the use of solar power and biodiesels can protect our planet. Please join me in congratulating our middle school students from Helena, Montana. Well, after reading a, a concerning report on ozone-generating air purifiers, Otana Jokpur decided to test their pulmonary effects. Her research was so well done, was submitted to the California Air Resources Board, a department of the California Environmental Protection Agency, and later was put into evidence at a public hearing. Please join me in congratulating her on her great accomplishment. Five students from Redmont High School in Washington State developed the Cool School campaign to encourage teachers to reduce energy use and in turn cut carbon dioxide emissions in their classroom. Their campaign has now been adopted by 17 other schools around the state. Please join me in congratulating the Redmont High School Cool School Campaign team members. As National Volunteer Week approaches, these young leaders are shining examples of environmental volunteerism. I have no doubt that the future of our nation's environment it is, in, is in capable, enthusiastic, and responsible hands. Please join me in congratulating all of our award winners and especially thanking our President and First Lady for presiding over this year's Environmental Youth Award Ceremony. Thank you, Mr. President and First Lady. <laughs> Hi, Richard, how you doing? She would love to. If, uh, <laughs> You're looking good. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. I saw the teachers over here splashing away there. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hi, everybody. Congratulations. Congratulations.